माई नेम इज़ हुफ़ा राशिद कोर्स कोड 508 क्लास टीचर डॉक्टर इरफान अली डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर पी एम एस एरेड एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी सो टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट द प्रैक्टिकल रिलेटेड टू लेब सेफ्टी स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर्स ऑल्सो नोन एज एस ओ पीज वेन यू स्टार्ट वर्क इन एनी साइंटिफिक लैब यू शुड फॉलो रूल्स एंड गाइडलाइंस टू फील मोर सिक्योर एंड कम्फर्टेबल इन लैब सेकेंड पॉइंट ऑल द केमिकल्स ऑल द मटीरियल्स विच आर यूज इन लैब्स शुड बी नोन एंड हाउ इट इज used their application and for which purpose this is used and how hazardous this chemical is for this purpose there is an sheet msds for further details you can also discuss it with your class teacher or lab assistant every lab has some safety equipments like telephone alarms first aid eye washer these things are should these are should be present in labs next point is in case of any accident any serious emergency procedure you should know what to do you should know from lab assistant before you start practical placement should be done properly everything should be in its place your exits should be clear all the chemical waste should be disposed of in separate dustbin the next point is suitable protection you should have these protection while working in lab first is lab coat gloves foot protection eye glasses and the next point is your gloves should be impermeable impermeable means that uh, acids can affect on these gloves gloves protect you from serious injury and the next point is avoid fashionable shoes should shoes should cover your foot properly avoid chappals while working in labs the next point is while working in lab your sleeves should not be rolled to avoid any serious injury the next point is after performing practical your hands should be washed whether the chemical is toxic or not all the chemicals are considered as toxic so you should you must wash your hands the next point is sometime new chemical receiving in labs so you should identify the chemical the chemical should have label should be labeled that how the chemical is hazard and how how we pro- protect from it and check all the data expiry date on it the next point is place the chemical according to its hazards or according to on the basis of compatibility the next point is avoid eating and drinking in labs or chewing gums because all the acids are considered as toxic the next step is avoid working alone because sometimes emergency procedures come so you cannot manage it alone so avoid working alone in labs the next point is never allow chemicals to unskilled person use mask and gloves while handling the next point is your lab cart should be stable for carrying many chemicals many containers it minimize the risk of any injury the next point is about flammable vapors for this purpose used 
fume hood to, to minimize risk of injury so these are the important important points while working in lab should be considered